Hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video Web. We're here today with Sham Ibrahim, who actually, okay, we just came out of LA Fashion Week, and Sham, I have to tell you, this is really kind of fascinating. Okay, how in the world did you get Lindsay Lohan, I mean, how in the world did you get her attention to take a look at the portrait you did of her? Well, I mean, first of all, hello everyone, and thank you so much for having me. And um, the whole thing happened so fast that, you know, it's really hard to just kind of break it down. But what, what really happened was she was there to see the Marco Marco fashion show and the Mr. Triple X fashion show. Okay. So she sat there front row. She came in like a flash, like a zoom. Like, she didn't even stop and pose for any cameras really at all. She just flashed on in. They seated her front row. And as soon as, you know, the, the lights went out, I saw her texting on her phone. And I knew she was going to leave. Well, how did how did you even know she was going to be there? Because there's a lot of times they slip them in in a side door and out a side door, and it's they're kind well, of hard. It to... was confirmed from the day before, and an hour prior to her arrival, everyone was whispering that she was there. Okay, oh. and it took an hour from her arrival to her even do the flash that she did to come in, which she just like I said, she zoomed past everything, went with seated front row. But right when I knew she was going to leave, because like I said, this is not my first time at the rodeo, okay? Right. I've given a lot of celebrities portraits, and I know that you have to jump when you have the chance. So yeah. she was rushing out the door, and she had, I don't know, what kind of bodyguards and security around her. And I approached her with the portrait, and the portrait itself is kind of derogatory. I mean, it's, it's a stylized tabloid portrait that's basically commenting on her jail time that she spent the 90 days in jail and the way the media treated it. So that's kind of that was kind of my angle. But of course, I'm not being derogatory towards her, but towards like the media and the press coverage and whatever. But nonetheless, the portrait itself deals with her sit in jail. So um, as she was, you know, exiting, I went up to her and I looked crazy. Like I, if you see the video, I look like a clown. And as soon as like her people started jumping and doing these insane basketball, football moves to block everything and block the camera, I just politely told her, look, I'm a pop artist, and I do this, and I'd like to give it to you. Well, right when I said that, the manager lady, she goes, no, no, thank you, no, 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 thank you, we don't want that, she said. But Lindsay stopped, she looked at me up and down, she looked at the clown, okay, she turned her head, looked at the portrait, and she saw exactly what it was. She saw exactly what it said, 90 days in jail is the top thing it says, okay, that's mm -hmm. the first thing you read on it, and she said, no, we want that. The, the, the lady, so she overrode her security, and the next thing I know, I was handing it to her, and you see that at the end of the video, I hand it to her, and, you know, I tell her, thank you so much, and it's nice to meet you. So, first of all, I'm just curious, it's like, the whole concept of it is like, how do you choose who first of all, to do a portrait of, because you sit there and put a lot of effort into it, and in not only creating it, but getting it to them, because when you're looking at your art, it's show, it's pop art. It's not... Yeah, and that, you pretty much already kind of answered the question with what you said. I, I base my art on what's popular in pop culture. I'm always looking at TMZ and Perez Hilton and all those websites and Radar Online. I'm looking at that not because I'm necessarily a gossip, but for inspiration. All my inspiration comes from the tabloids, all that comes from what you see and what we digest as an American, you know, pop culture and what we gravitate to, my theory as any pop artist is, is that, you know, if we're so interested in that as a culture, well, you should hang it on your wall as a canvas. You know, I've done everything from Rihanna's, uh, you know, beaten police photo, which is probably my most publicized piece, to, you know, um, Lindsay Lohan in jail, to, you know, Casey Anthony as Marilyn Monroe, um, you know, I've done so much, and it's usually what's in the media. And what, what kind of upsets me is I get a lot of my attention when it's celebrities, okay? Like, I, you know, obviously people are into this because it's Lizzie Lohan, and people are very interested in her. But I just did Trayvon Martin recently after that verdict came through, okay? And I, I really spent a lot of time thinking about my concept, and I kind of, I drew him as, like, uh, you know, the, the symbol for justice. Mm -hmm. I drew that with Trayvon's face and kind of a broken hands, you know, because I felt like justice was not executed, as many people did in, in that verdict. Now, nobody wrote about that, and nobody talked about that at all, you know what I mean? So I try to do also, you know, political things. I did the oil spill. Nobody really cared about that, and the interesting thing is, I did that oil spill painting right around the time that Lindsay Lohan went to jail, and I did hers. 
and my commentary on that was that, you know, because I was watching the news a lot, and I, I saw more coverage of Lindsay going to jail than I did of the oil spill. Mm-hmm. So I did both because I wasn't, you know, sure which one was more important because that was honestly what the media was reporting on more was her going to jail than this giant catastrophe in the ocean. One of the things that I find fascinating is that in the art that you're doing, not only is it what's popular in the media, but it's not just about having the art out there. You go a step further in what you're trying to do to help people. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not really in this for the money. To be honest with you, I've made very little to no money selling my art. In fact, it cost me money, but I'm very passionate about it. I mean, even when I sold the Rihanna piece, people came down on me like I was glorifying domestic violence and all this stuff. So I just, I sold that thing for $100 and I donated that $100 to a, to a charity that, you know, helps abuse women because I, you know, and I've, I've done things like that with my art. I, I last year I did a um, event for uh, a foundation that they, they are kind of like separate off from pharmaceutical companies and from the government and they're, they're uh, working towards a cure for HIV and AIDS. And I donated my art to them and they sold, you know, quite a bit, and I was able to donate those proceeds to, you know, to their cause, and I just feel like, you know, it's not really about the money, it's more about, you know, sort of making a difference, and obviously my, my portraits are also statements, you know, beyond just what they are to look at, I mean, I'm obviously making a commentary on our society today and what we're interested in as a culture, you know, and that's, that's a big part of, of, of it, but I don't really like to be so literal about it and so obviously didn't even necessarily have to explain it. I just like it to be there visually for people to see and interpret on their own. What was the most interesting response that you ever received when giving a piece of art well, to the person in well, it? Well, most certainly and most definitely that would go to Joan Collins. Yeah. Miss Joan Collins, the star of Dynasty, uh, one of my favorite actresses of all time who I grew up watching on television and uh, admiring and loving, I went to her one-woman show in Long Beach and I had a portrait for her and I had arranged with her publicist to meet after the show to give it to her. So I waited backstage and there was Joan and I was, of course, you know, completely starstruck. I gave her the portrait and she told me to keep it. She has enough portraits. No, thank you. (laughs) She returned it. Oh, really? And actually that video is on YouTube. You can find it if you just type Joan Collins Sham Ibrahim because some clever genius had his, his iPhone out or something, and he recorded the video. So, uh, you know, that oh was kind God. of, I've never had a celebrity give it back to me. That was the first time that ever happened, especially somebody like Joan Collins, who, you know, I mean, uh, I really, like, I'm gay and everything, so, I mean, to us, she's, like, kind of, like, you know, major icon, like a Cher, Madonna-level kind of lady, and I just love her. So, it was pretty devastating, but it actually made for a better story. It, it makes it different than all your other stories. And then, of course, I have to well, ask you definitely. about... definitely. I mean, it's, you know, look, you need to have... Both. Not everybody's going to love everything. I've, I've learned as an artist, you have to have very thick skin. Yes. You know, people have criticized my work a lot. And, you know, I... You know, I, I don't... It's like that saying goes, I, I, opinions are like a-holes. Everyone has one. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? That's, there's nothing you can do about that. There's always going to be a critic out there. But, you know, I'm... I'm more motivated by the people that get what I do and that, you know, like you, like you're interested in, you're asking me these questions and, you know, that's, that's motivating to me. I mean, really. And I'm curious about Heidi Fleiss because not only did you do a painting of her, you actually did a movie? I did. I was an associate producer on a documentary for her for this amazing company called World of Wonder. Um, they're a production company that they do RuPaul's Drag Race and they do, uh, they're doing one right now on the cooking channel called uh, Drag My Dinner Party with some of the stars of RuPaul's Drag Race. They do Latoya Jackson's show on OWN Network, which uh, hopefully next season uh, my bit will be on there. I went on there and I gave Latoya a portrait and that was a huge big deal for me because I've always been a fan of the Jackson family. And uh, yeah, and World of Wonder, they, they're actually kind of my main support in my whole uh, career as an artist. I mean, they gave me my first art show. They had wow. a, uh, a space that was next to the production company, and at the time, I was working as a producer on the movie, uh, associate producer, I should say, on the movie for Heidi, and uh, they, you know, I, I'm not really the kind of person that is, like, good in an office or whatever. I'm an artist, so 
I begged them and I begged them. I said, please, 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 can I have an art show here, please, you know? And finally they gave in because they're, they're really cool guys. I mean, they, they're, you know, they, they get what they're doing. You can see in their work and what they do. They're very creative, amazing people. And so they agreed to give me the art show and it went really well. And that was kind of the birth of, of my, even though I had been doing the art for some time before that, that was kind of when I really put myself out there and, you know, people started to know who I was as, as an artist. When I look at your art, I mean, I obviously see, you know, inspirations of Warhol, but who do you consider your main inspirations? Well, I consider my main inspiration uh, the celebrities and the people and the events that are in my uh, work because they inspire me to do the art. You know what I mean? If Lindsay didn't go to jail, I would have never been inspired to do a portrait of her voice. You know what I mean? It sounds terrible. It's not that I wish negative on anyone at all, but I definitely am inspired by, you know, the media, but as far as, you know, if you're talking about just which fine artists really inspire me, I was always inspired by that, um, the era of, like, Impressionists, like Van Gogh and, like, Monet and that stuff, because that was really when art changed, you know what I mean, art was before that just about this classical era of, like, painting, like, kings and queens and royalty and, uh, you know, and painting, like, religious scenes and then... Van Gogh and those guys kind of shifted to painting the, the regular common person. You know what I mean? And then that just, that was, you know, during, during their time, those, those, those artists like Gauguin and Van Gogh, they were, they were not very popular, but like later on now, they are pretty much the most important people in art because mm -hmm. they changed everything. Well, you know, and that's what art is about to me. It's about change. It's not necessarily about the best, executed thing, you know what I mean? I mean, there's art out there like Jeff Koontz, who, he, he, you know, the father is supposedly a postmodern art or whatever, but he, he's more about an idea, you know, he'll, he'll do, like, I, I drew uh, Mickey Mouse Jesus, okay, but Jeff Koontz had already done that as a sculpture, and, you know, it, it's like more about the idea, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, so, it's okay. I'm like, shut up, but okay, but I'm just going off on a tangent, but I mean, like, yeah, basically, I, I think, like, I'm inspired by all art, and I'm inspired by everything out there, but especially the media, I have to say. You know what I find fascinating is I'm, I'm looking at your art and listening to what you're saying, and I could see, you know, how they do shows, you know, Time Magazine. They show through the years, how the covers of Time Magazine. I could see an art show with you through the years, by date, what was popular at the time. Yeah, and that's sort of, you know, that's really a huge compliment to hear that because that's what I would like my art to encapsulate, like, what is popular at the time. I mean, I just did Amanda Bynes' portrait, okay? In two years, I probably will never be able to sell that thing because it's not popular, but I've so far sold three mm -hmm. because of, you know, the timing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's a, lot, that's a big part of it, too. You know what I mean? I, I think timing is integral to anything, whether you do music, art, acting, film, any of those mediums. It's all about timing. You know? Oh, it truly is. Well, I don't know about you, but I think now is the time where people should, well, be watching your art. It's actually quite fascinating, and Thank you very, so very much. interesting. Thank you. And so, it also, I would love to know where people can follow up with you on the internet, and also to know if there's anything that you would love to share with everybody. Sure. Well, I actually am doing a little underground art show with my dear friend Alexis Arquette this Friday. In Los Angeles. So, oh, you are. I, I'm sorry, this Thursday. I'm sorry. So, um, I, I'll get you the details. I can email them to you or something and you can put it. With oh, there. we would but love it. Yeah. As far as I, you know, my uh, my stuff, I have a website. It's www.shampop, S H A M P O P dot com. That's where you can see my artwork. And um, I also have a personal site. It's www.shamibraham.com. Com. Both sites are, are kind of old and under construction, so but you can go on there and you can see stuff. And you can always find my stuff on Google. That's, I love Google. I don't know what the forces of Google are out there, how it works, but if you just type Sham Ibrahim, that's S-H-A-M, my first name and last name, Ibrahim, it's like Abraham but with eyes, I-B-R-A-H-I-M, just type it into Google and you'll see plenty of articles, plenty of blogs all through the years, you know, the support I've had and the people that have, have written about me who I am immensely grateful for. It's all somehow on there. So, um, and then of course I have Facebook, 
and that's really the main social media that I keep up on. I'm not really big on spending my entire life in front of the computer. So I just kind of had Facebook, and I was kind of forced recently to make a Twitter by Kelly Kay, who I love dearly, but she told me that I need to have a Twitter, so I did it. So that Twitter is called uh, Sham Pop Art. Well, Sham... I just literally made it five seconds ago. Okay. Right before this <laughs> <phone> call. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I'm not even kidding you. And I just started tweeting. I don't even know what. I just started going on my computer and putting whatever pictures and things I could find on there and little bits of artwork. Well, Sham, oh. we are looking forward to seeing what you come up with next. Thank you so much. It's been very, very fascinating, and we will be watching you and Thank your art. Thank you very much, and you have a you have a great evening. Thank you for calling. Thank you, Sham.